I've been visiting this unique place in Tennessee for over 30 years now, and there's something different about a town that's nestled in the entrance of the Great Smoky Mountains. Whether you've never been to this awesome vacation destination before, or you have, this Gatlinburg Vacation Guide will give you many beneficial tips. My goal is that by the end of this video, you will have learned everything that you need to know about this place so you and your family can have the best experience possible. My name is Brandon and welcome to my channel Travel Guides USA and we're going to start off with when is the best time to visit Gatlinburg. Now the good news is there really is always a good time to visit Gatlinburg because each time period does offer its pros and cons so I'm going to review them all for you. January and February is considered the off season and while most attractions will stay open it will be cold and some do close. Now the good news is, this is by far the least busy time of the year. March through May is always a great time to experience Gatlinburg. Spring is absolutely beautiful here in the Smoky Mountains and you really do need to experience it. June through August is by far the busiest time of the year, but you also get to enjoy many of the great water attractions that you're going to find in the Gatlinburg area that would be closed throughout the rest of the year. September and October are my personal favorite times to visit because fall is in the air and the area is just breathtaking this time of year. And finally, November and December. Gatlinburg really does go all out during this time of year with all the holiday lights and decorations to really get you in the spirit of the holidays. Now it's time for the first of many travel tips throughout this video. If you're traveling with kids, then I really do recommend trying to visit during the week in June, July, or August. I know it's the busiest time of the year, but all the cool water attractions located nearby will just make their experience even better. Now that you know what period that you'd like to visit, the next step is to know how many days do you need. So here's my main question. Do you only want to explore Gatlinburg and not Pigeon Forge, which is located 10 minutes to the north? If that's the case, then I recommend at least three full days, if not four. And if you want to experience both of these awesome vacation destinations, then I recommend spending at least six to seven full days in the area. Pigeon Forge is awesome, and I highly recommend checking it out. And for your convenience, you're going to find a link to my Pigeon Forge vacation guide in the description of this video. Gatlinburg for the kids. If you have kids or grandkids coming with you, then you're all going to love Gatlinburg because pretty much everything in the city is kid friendly. Travel tip. I recommend scoping out all the attractions that your kids would want to do and pricing them out because it does get expensive when you start wanting to do many of the different attractions. Speaking of attractions, here are a few of my favorites. Everyone visiting the Gatlinburg area must take time to explore the Great Smoky Mountain National Park. After all, it's located right next to Gatlinburg. Covering over 5,222 acres, this is one of the most beautiful places in the entire world. But the best news is that you do not have to travel far, because again, the park's main entrance is located right next to downtown Gatlinburg. Travel tip. Located 33 miles away is Newfound Gap, which offers a breathtaking lookout at an elevation of 5,046 feet. During this route, you're going to drive up approximately 3,000 feet, so get ready for some amazing views and to see all the dense forests and all the trees. It really is breathtaking and I cannot recommend it enough due to all the overlooks and the scenery. Anakista. This is one of the newer attractions that you're going to find in the Gatlinburg area and it's also one of the best ones. That's because Anakista is just awesome. You start by taking a ski lift to the top of the 600 foot tall mountain, but the good news is if you're scared of heights, you can ride up the mountain in the Ridge Rambler vehicles. Once atop, the adventure continues, because you can go zip lining, taking some great tasting food and cold beverages while enjoying views like this, 
You can take your time and browse through all the cute shops, not to mention, but Anakista is home to two different mountain coasters. You're also going to enjoy walking across Treetop Skywalk and the 60 foot tall Ana Vista Mountain Observation Tower. Next up is Mysterious Mansion, and this awesome haunted house is open year round, and everything about this rickety old mansion is just creepy. There is a reason why this mansion has been rated as one of the best attractions in the Gatlinburg area for over 40 years. And if you're not too scared, then I highly recommend checking it out. The Gatlinburg Sky Park. They claim that you will experience the best views of Gatlinburg and after experiencing this attraction, they're not wrong. This classic ski lift is one of Gatlinburg's most iconic attractions. Once you reach the top of the mountain, you are able to enjoy North America's longest pedestrian cable bridge. Travel Tip This bridge is so much fun to walk across and I cannot recommend it enough, but Here's a tip, if you're scared of heights, then I recommend definitely looking down, especially through the glass floor on the bridge. Ripley's Aquarium of the Smokies. This aquarium really is awesome and you're gonna find so many different exhibits and animals in it, it really is cool. And just by looking at the building, you're probably thinking there's not too much to see and do, but again, there really is, and everything spread across two different floors. Travel tip. Since the aquarium is located indoors, it is the perfect attraction for you to enjoy in colder or warmer weather or even if it rains. Hillbilly Golf. This is by far the most fun and unique and beautiful mini golf course in the Gatlinburg and Pigeon Forge area. Hillbilly Golf really is two attractions in one because you get to ride up and down the mountain and a little cable car to get to and from the mini golf course. Our kids, five and two, loved every second of this mini golf course and so did we. Now, if you're enjoying this video and you're finding it to be helpful in any way, then all I ask that you do is please give it a like. That is by far the best way you can help support Travel Guides USA, and I really do appreciate it. Also, I hope you consider becoming my newest subscriber. Now it's time to talk about the best places to stay in the Gatlinburg area. And coming in with a 4.7 rating out of 5 on Google is the Margaritaville Resort Gatlinburg, which is located right in downtown Gatlinburg, and you're going to love your experience in this awesome hotel. If you've never stayed at a Margaritaville hotel or resort, then you're really missing out. Because you're going to fall in love with the island frame of mind vibe that this tropical resort offers. And I know what you might be thinking, why stay at a beach and tropical themed hotel in the middle of the mountains? But trust me, you're going to love every second of it, especially the pool area, because it's one of the top three best ones in the entire Gatlinburg area. Bearskin Lodge on the river with a 4.5 out of 5 on Google. Get ready to fall in love with this hotel and the beautiful themed rooms that it offers. Located just off the main strip of Gatlinburg, this hotel is always a great choice when you want to stay close to all the action. Travel tip, they usually have discounts on their website or if you sign up for their emails, so be sure to check that out before you book. Old Creek Lodge featuring a 4.6 rating. Located right along the west prong of the Little Pigeon River, this hotel offers great sized rooms and suites and it's very clean. But the best part is the location isn't bad at all either. Travel tip. This hotel is a great option for a romantic getaway because each room offers hardwood floors and even a fireplace. With a 4.7 rating, this is Jack Huff's. And if you're looking to start a new family tradition and you love staying at locally owned places, then this is your spot. There is a reason why this hotel has a 4.7 review with almost 500 different reviews. Jack Huff's is a great choice because of its location, the pool, and the slide area. Greystone Cottages, featuring a 4.4 rating. Now what I love about this place is you get a free breakfast daily and the pool area is great and features a water slide. Plus, you will love the rooms that offer views of the river, especially sitting out on your balcony. Seriously, what more could you want? Now if you're looking for a very clean resort that isn't overpriced, then the Greystone Cottages is a great choice. Travel Tip I always recommend checking out their website for specials because most of the time you can save a good amount of money on your rooms this way. My family and I visit the Gatlinburg area around three to four times a year and I always check out and compare the rates for renting a cabin versus staying at a hotel room. 
there are so many different cabin rentals located in the Gatlinburg area, so inventory will never be an issue. I have also found success with Airbnb and VRBO. There's something to say about renting the cabin in the woods with balconies, with a view and a hot tub to really enhance your overall Gatlinburg experience. Just saying, if you're able to, I highly recommend checking it out. While in Gatlinburg, you will quickly notice the abundance of great restaurants. Honestly, it's a bit overwhelming. But the good news is, here are the five must-visit restaurants that you have to experience while you're in Gatlinburg. Crawl Daddy's Restaurant and Oyster Bar, featuring a 4.3 rating out of 5 on Google. Located right on the main Gatlinburg drag is this delicious restaurant. Crawl Daddy's offers a great menu that's going to please anyone in your party, and you're also going to love the quick and friendly service. Travel Tip If there's a table available, then I recommend sitting out on the top floor on the balcony so you can take in some great downtown Gatlinburg views and just enjoy the overall atmosphere. Chesapeake Seafood and Raw Bar, featuring a 4.6 out of 5 on Google. If you're in the mood for some great seafood in the Smokies, then this is the place for you. Now, if you're not a fan of seafood, then you will enjoy their steaks or their chicken entrees. This place is worth every penny. Pizzeria of Gatlinburg, 4.5 out of 5 on Google. From mouthwatering pizza, hot delicious sandwiches, and massive pasta dishes, everyone's going to be happy once they eat here. Trust me. Another great thing about this place is that you can eat in, pick it up, and they even deliver. So if you are in the mood for an easy meal and you want some great pizza, then this is the best place for you in the area. Coming in with a 4.4 out of 5 rating on Google is the Park Grill. Now let me tell you something, a trip to Gatlinburg is not complete without a trip to this amazing restaurant. From the great food, the fast service, to the amazing interior of this awesome restaurant, you will enjoy eating here. If you ever envision a restaurant that screams the Smoky Mountains, then this one is it for sure. With the 4.7 out of 5 on Google, this is the Log Cabin Pancake House. If you're like my wife and I, then you love a good breakfast. And if that is the case, then you will have to promise me that you'll eat breakfast at the Log Cabin Pancake House. Seriously, promise me that. I mean, just take a look at this. I have no words because I was too busy eating it and enjoying it. Now, here are some tips about visiting Gatlinburg on a budget. Now, at the end of the day, I really want you to have the best Gatlinburg vacation possible, no matter your budget. So here are a few ways that you can save some money and still get the most out of this awesome town. And first up is avoid traveling during the summer and on the weekends. Travel tip. Hotels, cabins, and vacation rentals will always charge you more for staying there Friday and Saturday nights. Something to keep in mind when you're scheduling your trip. Also, it's good to know that just walking along the Gatlinburg Strip is always free, but you do have to pay for parking if you're staying at a hotel or cabin that's not located near downtown. The Great Smoky Mountain National Park is always free to enjoy and explore. Seriously, again, do not miss out on this opportunity. With that said, I think the best bang for your buck is by visiting Ober Mountain. While it's not the highest rated mountain attraction in the area, it does offer the most for your dollar. For the price of a one-day wristband, you can enjoy all these activities and attractions, including riding the scenic tram, the mountain coaster, and the scenic chairlift. And I've been lucky enough to experience every ski lift that you're gonna find in the Gatlinburg area, and Ober Mountain offers the best ones in the area for the views alone. Now for more information about this must-see attraction, be sure to watch my guide that you can see at the bottom of your screen for more tips and recommendations. So now I want to know, when is your trip to the Gatlinburg area? Be sure to let me know in the comments, and as always, thank you so much for watching. Remember to smile today, be adventurous, and never stop traveling.